Welcome back, angels and demons. So, yeah, I'm back to Good King day. of Samuel. Didn't I already speak to this guy or on the way out, right? What? Ah, I'm very sorry. I'm just so busy with the extra work I've been assigned. Okay. Fair enough. Should we? I don't know. Is this a side quest or is it a main? Oh, yeah, I can check that, right? <laughs> I'll forget about that. Quests. Turn to sender. Yeah, I could screw. Yes, not do that. Enemies in high places. Yeah, let's just keep to the story. What? Oh, wait, it was the same place? Really? Really? Well, after we're done with the main story, I will go back and do every single side quest. <laughs> Have a little bit mini series, maybe every Saturday I will spend an hour doing side quests and record it, or maybe even stream it. That would be nice. That is the ugliest wig I have ever seen, and sorry if it's a real hair. Yes, what do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Really? Be quick. Racist. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures. What is part of a conspiracy? I bring him to justice alone. It's part of a conspiracy. Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octien himself. That requires a confession. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. I have never wanted to slap, bitch slap somebody as much as this. Ah, oh, screw her. I have no idea who this Octian even is. I have totally forgotten. <laughs> wow. Hello. I'm here to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. I forgive her. What are you talking about? My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. Hmm, nice. You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Librarium. I suggest you go there. Ooh, that's nice. Who is this Octian? I have what? totally forgotten. And it's bothering me. What uh, can I do for you? Who is it? Am I running right way? I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm okay with gnomes, even though they can be a little bit eh, irritating. <laughs> Although they do, they do not beat elves. Who's there? Well, look at you. Don't seem to be quite as busy as the other humans working the scaffolding. You might be perfect. Listen, stranger, would you like to earn a bit of coin? No sweat off your brow, promise. Wait a second. Hmm. Oh, he's... <laughs> I thought he was the guy I was yes. supposed to go to, but he was a quest giver. Okay, not really right now. Later, we'll come back. Be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to go in. I'm trying to remember who Octian is. It's really frustrating. Oh, I thought I could jump down there. Or I thought it was stairs. But okay. What? Wait, a book? 
Currently decided this is a chapter from the memoirs of Galenon Hagem, the gnomish mason who designed and oversaw construction of the most of Edessa. There is an inter interesting note near the bottom of the page, alluding to a treasure hid in the city. Ooh, wait, Edessa? Oh, this is Edessa. <laughs> I thought it was Idilla. I haven't played this in so long. I'm sorry, I really need to play it. It's so much fun. I love this game so much. But yeah, yes, real. I recognize myself as depressed. I don't know how to say any better or explain it any better. But yeah. You, you're alive. What an unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. Oh, this is a. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, I met him before and he tried to get me killed, I see. If I remember right. But yeah, I'm not really depressed anymore. I have made sure to fix my state of mind and uh, started to fix my life again. So I don't. I'm not depressed anymore. Oh, good, you can't see that. A friend of mine just get, went into a game. But yeah. So, I didn't know why I'm just stopping the episode just to talk about this. Well, I'm getting better and I will hopefully be able to upload way more. Thing about Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, th uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, um, one episode each day for or two episodes a week for each uh, Dragon Age and uh, uh, Kings of Amalur. So I will keep to that until I'm done with the campaign in Amalur, then I will do that on weekends and I will find... Maybe I will just keep to one game at a time, so I will just make uh, uh, a Dragon Age. And then we have uh, Technomancer, which is a game uh, uh, Lord of Ruin gave me, or gifted to me. Not this Christmas, but Christmas last year, or maybe the year before that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I haven't played yet because I wanted to record it and it looks awesome. So I'm gonna that I think will be the next game Maybe I will e just continue to Dragon Age and go to Dragon Age 2 Well, let's go back to the game. I I read it far enough enough What did you expect your plan fail kill your thug? I don't know most of you may not even care about this plan these plans well, sorry for Keeping keep talking. Ugh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry What was I doing now again? Oh, yeah, your plan failed. I like, killed your thugs. What did you expect? For starters? They expected you to be rotting in a sandy ditch somewhere Supper for the carrion birds Understand you and I are alike all we both want is to see this business reach its end Your plan failed did it here you stand Suspecting me of a great many crimes, yet unable to lift a finger. Tell me, who has the power? Get me to Ventrino. You'll pay for me. Or what? You'll slaughter me in a murderous rage? Typical. Your kind is as predictable as it is stupid. I'm afraid you'll find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. Attack me in this city, and I won't just have you clapped in irons. No, I'll hand you over to the scholars in the Basilica for research. <laughs> Our long career supporting vivification research has left me with certain advantages. You could say I'm more resilient than most of your enemies. Are you such a big craving to ki for killing him? You thought of everything. I'll admit, I did not see you and Hughes are lying to blackmail me. His conscience was always his biggest liability. Ventrinio will take over a search on the well. He has no such weaknesses. Perhaps I'll even give him your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. You know how he died? Of course. And it's such a pity you'll never find out. Aww. 
Wait, he's actually fighting me? Why is he fighting me? Why is he fighting me? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I, what? I thought I couldn't. What is every. Why? What just happened? Everything's on fire. Seriously, what's wrong with this dude? Oh, nobody can see me. Well done. <laughs> You're stealing some stuff. <laughs> yeah, why not? Scaffolding. Really? I okay. Oh. He deals si Okay, here. Something is wrong. What difficulty did I have on? I got hard on. Nope. Really? <sighs> Seriously? I hate ice mages. I really do. I seriously hate them. Yeah, 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 come on. I hate this game's fighting system. I got way too few potions as well. Screw this. I'm done. Come on, that's BS. I wasted it. Oh, oh, eh. I forgot that I had to do that. Uh, it's just I can't check it right now. Okay, okay. What? Why? Really? Seriously? comes more really I'm pretty ever English I really hate this game's fighting system it's so ridiculously frustrating to do anything at all you just get <sighs> Really? Octian can still see me? You. 
<sighs> Finally lost one. Come on, just die already. There we go. <sighs> Seriously, I got no more potions. Oh, come on. Stop that. I hate camera in this game as well. Just die already. Oof, there we go. Sorry for blowing right into it, but we are trying to focus here. Okay, just as long as I can manage to block, I'm fine. Okay, I never realized how amazing the shield was until now. Okay. And you don't even have to look at the uh, <laughs> real game. Really? You don't even have to look at the character to block it. Uh, I I think they realized how BS their system was, so they just... Oh, okay, yeah, we just gonna... You wouldn't dare? You wouldn't dare? What the f... What? <laughs> what? Wait. Wait, what? Did I... Seriously, did I just do that? <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wow. Well, if setting fire to the librarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, <laughs> you were effective. You have my respect. I didn't even want to go against your instructions. <laughs> Should he survive the wounds earned in battle, I should think so. To that effect, I have ordered a moratorium on all of his current studies and projects. Or, perhaps, save this mysterious well of souls. That one will take some deliberation, considering its various ethical and societal ramifications. Regardless, Gnome Society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. I need to find the vent. Ventrinio. Ventrinio Desolini. One name I never expected to be brought into this business. It seems he has escaped the gallows yet again. I believe your friend Scholar Hughes may be able to help. While you were here, my people found him salvaging the tomes Octien attempted to burn. Now, you must excuse me. A Templar has fallen from power, and Odessa's political buzzards are circling. Greetings. That's nice. Oh, Hughes! It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly, or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Is there anything else worth? Oh, great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses, but only one item of true value. Octien's diary. Ooh, nice. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Pluricon. Ooh. The Dwarfel won't be a problem. Must be why I couldn't find him. Yes. Should have known he'd be hidden behind enemy lines. Though with Mel Sentier victorious, he's in Alpha territory now. But when you reach him, be wary. His is a dangerous mind, and he may want to kill you the second time around if my suspicions are correct. But if you must go to Alabastra, then you must learn his secret. I only hope he's willing to share. What about your work? Unfortunately, research on the Well of Souls will be put on hold. Octien organized it in secret, and the other Templars will want to learn all they can of it. 
But I do not think I'll be idle in the meantime. With Octian out of the way, there will be need of a new Templar in Edessa. Ooh. You defeat Octian and expose his scheming, thereby providing that uh, unmaking the threads of fate is often as important as measuring and spinning them. Plus 5% sp Oh, that's nice. Turning the tide. So, can we- nope, doesn't seem like we can learn anything- oh, wait, are you here? Really, Agarth? Octien seems to have gotten what he deserves. I can't say I understand gnomish politics. But Hughes is safe, and now we know where Ventrinio is. Seems like a win. No time to clean up, though. I've got news from the front lines in Cluricon. The army has been making progress in Cluricon. But the further we push, the harder it gets. The Tawatha know the land and are too well organized. But we've heard rumors of a small band of Winter Fey harassing the Tawatha somewhere in the swamps. The scouts can't track them down, but perhaps the hero of Mel Senshir could find them. Yes, sir. All right then. So now we will go to Mel Senshir again. All right, now. And you know the deal. Yes. We are gonna fast travel there in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Yes. I will make. Yes, yes, yes. I will make more videos in the future. Probably no more this week. But yeah, next week they will be coming. This will be Tuesday and Thursday then. And. Uh, Dragon Age Monday and Wednesday Well, I hope you enjoyed I will tell this information on the next uh, episode of uh, Dragon Age as well Well, I hope to see them. Oh, yeah, remember to press that uh, bell icon because I haven't record uh, been uploading that much so maybe <laughs> YouTube won't uh, be giving you my videos into your subscription box. I know it's frustrating. I don't even like belling w uh, channels myself. But if you like it, please press that bell icon. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you will enjoy in the future. Well, this has been a fun return. Yes, they went in and got revenge on a guy I couldn't even remember. <laughs> well, I hope to see you next time. This has been Salonel, and well... Bye-bye.